راغبا في كل علم نافع ينمو العلم ويتقدم بتقنياته ومجالاته ومعه نطور أدواتنا في تقديم العلم الشرعي أكاديمية زاد زاد أكاديمية ينبوعها صاف صاف ليروي غلة الظمآن هذا كتاب الله روح قلوبنا خير الدروس تعلم القرآن بشرى لنا زاد أكاديمية للعلم كالأزهار في البستان بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه وأتباعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين In the name of Allah, the compassion of the merciful, the Lord of the worlds and may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon his prophet Muhammad, his family, his companions and his followers all until the, the day of judgment. I welcome you to this new lesson from the series of Tafsir at Zad Academy and I am very glad to continue with you the uh, interpretation or tafsir of the last three ayahs of Surah Al-Baqarah. We already talked about part of the, uh, the, first, the first ayah, 284, and now coming to 285, ayah 285, the second ayah uh, with us uh, in the last three ayahs of Surah Al-Baqarah. And uh, this ayah goes uh, starts with آمَنَ الرَّسُولُ بِمَا أُنزِلَ إِلَيْهِ مِنْ رَبِّهِ وَالْمُؤْمِنُونَ So the messenger uh, has believed in what has been revealed to him and do uh, the and have the, the believers as well, meaning that the, the, the messenger and the believers did uh, believe in what has been revealed to them of the book and the hikmah, the book meaning Al-Qur'an, hikmah meaning uh, the sunnah, which, mean, which entails that they need to submit uh, and to accept this decision. Uh, when, you, when you believe, it entails that you should submit and act upon what you believed in. It's not enough only to have a lip service or to admit or to have that in your heart unless this iman is translated into action. There is no benefit of it, and there it's not going to help a person uh, on the day of judgment. For example, Abu Talib, the uncle of the Prophet, والسلام, was someone who accepted and uh, admitted uh, of the uh, mission of the Prophet, peace be upon him. But when he did not fully accept it and submit himself to this this uh, uh, admission did not help him, and he was uh, put in hell fire. Yes, because of what he did to the Prophet ﷺ, he was moved from the middle of the hell fire to a side in hell fire, but it did not take him out of hell fire because he did not act upon this admission uh, by the heart. Uh, so iman, iman is... Uh, a submission that entails acceptance and submission to submit yourself and your actions to uh, according to that iman. Aman uh, al ma min rabbihi. Now the word min rabbihi is very important because the rub of the Prophet والسلام, which is a very very special kind of rububiyya uh, uh, or lordship. Uh, because the rububiyyah or lordship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is of three types. There is a general rububiyyah, there is a, a, a special rububiyyah, and there is a special of the special, uh, where the, special, the, the general one is the one that is so encompassing for all the uh, creation. Uh, as we say, Rabbul Alameen, he is the lord of all the worlds. The world of animals, the world of jinn, the world of humans, the world of the heavens, the world of, of everything. Alam is everything other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But the special rububiyyah 
uh, is only for the believers. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says um, uh, regarding the believers, وَمِنْهُمْ مَنْ يَقُولُ رَبَّنَا آتِنَا رَبَّنَا آتِنَا فِي الدُّنْيَا حَسَنًا وَفِي الْآخِرَةِ حَسَنَةً وَقِنَا عَذَابَ النَّارِ So this rububiyyah is basically for the, uh, the believers. And then we have the uh, special of the special. That's the cream of, of, uh, 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 of the pie where this is for the messengers alayhimu salatu wassalam as Allah says Rabbi Musa wa Harun so Rububiyya is for Musa and Harun as they are two messengers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the same thing applies to Ubudiyya which is a divinity uh, of, uh, and, and being a, a slave of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because everyone is a slave of Allah however there is a general Ubudiyya and there is a, a special ubudiyya, and there is a special of the special of ubudiyya, or uh, submission and servitude for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The general one is like, in kullu man fis samawati wal ardi illa ati rahmani abda. That no one in the heavens and the earth, except that they will come on the day of judgment as servant, as slaves of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as a slave uh, uh, to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As for the special ubudiyya, is like وَعِبَادُ الرَّحْمَانِ الَّذِينَ يَمْشُونَ عَلَى الْأَرْضِ هَوْنَ The servants or the slaves of Ar-Rahman who walk calmly on, on, on earth. And the special of the special is like تَبَارَكَ الَّذِي نَزَّلَ الْفُرْقَانَ عَلَى عَبْدِهِ Blessed be is the one who revealed the Qur'an upon his own slave or servant uh, again like in surah al-isra subhanalladhi asra bi'abdihi glory be to the one who actually took uh, on a night journey his own slave meaning allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so that is special ubudiyya he's he's special of the special and then to the believers is a special and then the general one is and of, of course uh, the general uh, ubudiyya would not be uh, applicable to uh, to everyone but only to to the whole creation and to the whole people but then again coming to to narrow it down to the messengers alayhimu salatu wassalam in the special of the special ubudiyya so rububiyya and ubudiyya in this respect have all these three three degrees um, but then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wanted to share this with the uh, people, uh, the ummah and the nation of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in this uh, generosity, in this uh, virtue where he said, Kullun amana billahi wa malaikatihi wa kutubihi wa rusulihi. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that besides the Prophet, the Messenger alayhi salatu wa sallam, the believers also believed in this and they submitted and they accepted and this uh, meaning that they believed in Allah and everything that he told us about himself, about his messengers, about his uh, attributes, about his perfect and uh, uh, whether this is in general or in detail. And of course, uh, to uh, purify this belief from any deviant uh, uh, description or uh, uh, any kind that will affect that pure faith according to what came in the Qur'an and the Sunnah. And uh, of course, uh, the uh, oneness of Allah's uh, Lordship and divinity and uh, beautiful names and uh, sublime uh, attributes. And then this includes also Iman uh, of the Malaika or the angels uh, that uh, all of the earlier uh, laws uh, and sharias of earlier messengers and prophets actually came in detail and explained about them and also believing in the books of Allah and we know uh, the kind of books that came and uh, were included and uh, all the commands and all the prohibitions that came from Allah within these books and uh, of course we know uh, we do not know uh, the names of these books except uh, the ones that are mentioned in the glorious Qur'an. And these include the Qur'an or Al-Furqan, the Torah, 
the Injil and the Torah was uh, revealed to Moses, uh, Musa alayhi salatu wasalam, and Injil was revealed to Isa alayhi salatu wasalam, and Az Zabur, who which was revealed to Dawood or David alayhi salatu wasalam, and then the scriptures of Ibrahim and Musa, Suhufu Ibrahim wa Musa, and this also includes or contains the belief in the messengers, and we know that the messengers are so many, and we do not distinguish among them, meaning we believe in all of them, that they came with the message and uh, the inspiration from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, because they are uh, coming in the middle to convey uh, the message of Allah to his own people. And if we uh, reject some of them, then actually this is a rejection of all of them, but indeed it's a kufr or uh, disbelief in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who sent them. And that is important. It's one of the main principles in Islam is to believe in all the prophets. And if you believe in Muhammad alayhi salatu and uh, 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 whatever he, he brought of the law and the sharia, then rejected or disbelieved in what uh, 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 Moses or Jesus, peace be upon him, or, or, or uh, the other uh, believers, uh, or other other uh, messengers and prophets. Obviously, you are a disbeliever in Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam because they came with the same kind of message that Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam brought. So they are all brothers, uh, and they came from the same source. So believing in all of them is the uh, principle. Uh, a main principle in Islam and disbelieving in one of them. One of them is disbelieving in all of them and in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. لا نفرق بين أحد من رسله So we do not distinguish among them like the people before us, like uh, the Jews and the Christians. They believed in some and they rejected some. This is not the way of the believers. وَقَالُوا سَمِعْنَا وَأَطَعْنَا And they say, we hear and we obey, so we hear what you said and what you uh, asked us to do, commanded us to do, and forbade us to do, and we submitted, وَأَطَعْنَا We obeyed, so we will not say like the people before, سَمِعْنَا وَعَصَيْنَا We heard and we disobey, but rather we hear and we obey. And this is what a Muslim is supposed to do. That's why uh, a Muslim or a servant, uh, sh even when, when they, uh, when they fall, fall short of uh, fulfilling what Allah uh, subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, asked them to do, then they need his maghfirah, they need his forgiveness and pardon. Uh, that's why we always ask Allah's maghfirah by saying, غفرانك ربنا غفرانك. We ask you for forgiveness of our shortcomings in, in your due rights. As for the rights of humans, we, uh, we need to, to return them uh, to them in order to free our uh, commitment from that. And then, وَإِلَيْكَ الْمَصِيرِ And to you is our return. And you will hold all the people, uh, all the created ones of jinn and ins, uh, and humans, they will be uh, held accountable and they'll be, they will be rewarded uh, or, or punished accordingly. So that is, that is how, how this, is, this is done. And uh, it's very, very important to know uh, some of the benefits of these ayahs is the generality of uh, 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 the knowledge of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as we can say in as Allah says in surah al-Imran so whatever you conceal or make apparent of what is inside you Allah uh, knows it secondly Allah will hold people accountable also Allah uh, has a will, subhanahu wa ta'ala, so we affirm that, فَيَغْفِرُ لِمَنْ يَشَاءُ وَيُعَذِّبُ مَنْ يَشَاءُ And uh, the way of the believers is to believe in hearing and obeying, وَقَالُوا سَمِعْنَا وَأَطَعْنَا Just like Allah says in Surah uh, An-Nur, إِنَّمَا كَانَ قَوْلَ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ إِذَا دُعُوا إِلَى اللَّهِ وَالرَّسُولِهِ لِيَحْكُمَ بَيْنَهُمْ أَيْ يَقُولُوا سَمِعْنَا وَأَطَعْنَا Same wording. 
in Surah An-Nur as well as in Surah Al-Baqarah to show you that the Quran goes along with this. And then finally, let me get into the uh, activity of this. Uh, the ayah um, uh, talked about uh, four of the uh, pillars of faith. Uh, uh, so uh, can you find uh, a fifth pillar in this ayah? Go to the end. I think you'll find one. And then uh, go to the ayah and see what is this in the ayah. What is uh, uh, the similar ayah in another place with the same meaning? Or what is the same in the ayah? I think you'll find the answer. We just, we just talked about it a little while ago. Until I see you with this in the coming lesson, I leave you with Allah's care and protection wa salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh صاف ليروي غلة الظمآن هذا كتاب الله روح قلوبنا خير الدروس تعلم القرآن بشرى ننازات أكاديمية للعلم كالأزهار في البستان